I know you may have recently uh, seen on my post in my community section of a picture of me and my boys doing some trout fish fishing up in Boone. We ended up catching a total of, I think it was 21 brook trout and a couple of uh, smallmouth bass, a couple rockfish, uh, and some croakers. At least that's what I know to call them. There's some bottom feeders. Uh, but what I'm going to do today is I was going to grill up some of these brook trout. So let me show you what I did was I simply took off the head, then I cut down the center, removed all the guts. Look how beautiful that meat is. Scaled it, and I left everything else on. And what I'm going to do is just use some melted butter that I put some garlic in, and I'm just going to do a wash on these things. So I got my grill fired up and heating. I'm going to go ahead and open these up, meat side down, and get them on the grill. And I'm doing this at a low temperature. Don't want to burn, don't want to burn them. I want them to be evenly cooked. I'm going to adjust the camera see if you guys can see that there. I think you can. All right. See my trout right here on the grill. I'm going to close this down. And when I start to uh, do the butter and I flip them, I'll be right back with you. Stick with me, guys. We're going to do this catch and cook brook trout. All right, guys. While the trout's uh, cooking, I thought I'd walk you around my yard, show you some of my... Uh, uh, gardening, I guess you could say. Um, let's see, let's see right here. That's a strawberry patch. Uh, produced really well for us this year. Not as good as previous years, but did okay. And let's see if you can see right there is my figs. Let's see, we'll get a little closer. You see, they're, they're coming about pretty decent this year. Um, now this, uh, this little blackberry bush, I just planted this year. Oh, sorry, I dropped you. This blackberry bush, I planted this last year, and uh, it does pretty decent. You get good blackberries, good sized blackberries off of it. Mm. All right, and then right here is blueberries. I got six of them. I picked those three pretty good. These three, as you can see, they're still full. And so I've already got um, probably two, two and a half gallons of blueberries off of those six bushes. I've given out quite a bit, froze quite a bit, and we've ate even more. So the uh, the fruit is doing pretty good this year so I'm gonna get back to the grill check on the trout. stick with me guys all right so as you can see I've uh, slightly turned these what I'm gonna do is take my garlic butter and my brush I'm just gonna brush the insides of these guys real well I'm going to go ahead and brush the outsides too. So I don't mind eating the skin, especially once it's been scaled. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. back part of my grill cooks a little hotter. I have to tell you, trout is probably one of my absolute favorite fish to eat, especially fresh. Uh, and brook trout even better. You can really tell the brook trout because of the really pink, orange kind of look to it. Slightly different than say a white, the white meat of a more of a rainbow trout.
All right. We're going to let that cook a little bit longer. We're going to get to dinner before long. Stick with me. So as you can see, uh, the meat loses that kind of pink orange look when it's almost done and the bones will start to actually separate out of the meat. And we're seeing that on most of these now, especially in those thick portions. So it shouldn't be too much longer, they should be done. And also, if you take a look, the uh, skin will start to come off on its own. Not that I mind. But if you don't like the skin, after you've cooked it this way, it's easy to peel off. So I'm going to let these cook for a little bit longer, and I'll get them on the plate. Stick with me. Alright guys, just pulled these beautiful brook trout off the grill. Let me give you a little closer look. See what I'm talking about with the bones separating and the color changing. Alright. So we're going to tear into it. Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful meal you blessed me with, for the opportunity you had to fish and harvest these animals with my sons and the memories we made, and uh, that you've uh, given its life to sustain mine. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. All right, let's dig in. Mm. I'm telling you, best fish ever. I don't know if you guys ever ate brook trout, or if you ever been trout fishing. I tell you, if you get an opportunity, you better take advantage of it. This is this is a fish that I won't never throw back. Uh, they're just so delicious. And look, uh, even after them. Look at all that just falls right off the bone. All the bones staying right in there. It's coming right off. Just delicious. Alright guys. Thanks for joining me on this uh, catch and cook. Have uh, brook trout. And uh, hey, go out there and catch some yourself. Uh, get up in the mountains. Enjoy the scenery. Walk the rivers and streams. And provide some food for yourself and your family. Thanks for watching. God bless.